and welcome to your video for your review of the evens. We're going to get started on this really quickly, but I just want to make sure that you know that you need to be checking and making sure that you can do these by yourself. If you need to pause, feel free to pause because I'm going to go fairly quickly so the video length does not scare you. All right, let's go. Number two says to find the degree of the monomial. In order to find the degree of a single term, you add the exponents together, so this degree would be 8. Number 4, to find the degree of a polynomial, you find each individual degree, 9, 2, and 4, and then you take the highest, the degree of the highest exponent, which is 9. Number 6, we need to write this in standard form. In order to write it in standard form, you have to take the highest exponent and put it first. That would be 4x to the fifth. The second one would be the fourth power, which is 8x to the fourth. The third term would be minus 13x to the third. The next term is 8x squared minus 5x, and then the constant goes on the end, which is plus 3. The leading coefficient would be 4, which is the coefficient with the highest exponent. Number 8, classify according to the degree. So first I have to find the degree of the entire polynomial. The first degree would be 5 because 4 and 1 is 5. The second degree is 4. The third term, 3, 2, and 1. So this is a fifth degree, which is a quintic. The number of terms, one, two, three, four, five, there are five terms, so we call it a polynomial. All right, number 10. We need to also classify this one. First, the degree would be four, and there's only one term. A fourth degree is called a quartic, and there's only one term, so it is a whoa, monomial. All right, now getting to the fun part. Number 12, we need to add the um, monomials together. We have a 2 and a negative 20m to the 4th. They're like terms, so that's going to be a negative 18m to the 4th. Then we can add the negative 10 with the negative 13, and that gives me negative 23m. Number 14. Since I'm adding the polynomials, I can just take off the parentheses as I work them. Looking at the common terms, I have a 7b to the third and a positive b to the third, which makes 8b to the third. Then I have a negative b squared and a positive 4b squared, so that makes 3b squared. And on the end, by itself, a minus 3, which is the constant. Number 16. This time I have to subtract. In order to subtract, I'm going to keep the first term, the first uh, polynomial the same, and that would be 7d to the fifth minus d squared. I'm going to change the sign on each of these. So that's going to be minus d to the fifth minus 2d squared and plus 1. Don't forget to do every single term. Now combining like terms, I have 7d to the 5th, take away a d to the 5th, which is 6d to the 5th. Then I have a negative d squared and another negative 2d squared. That makes minus 3d squared and plus 1. 